Welcome back to Necessity One, where today we are going to be fighting the Reaper. Now, the Reaper has a grand total of four different drops, each with a 25% chance to be dropped. Starting off with the Death Ripper, which is a gun that apparently takes a little bit of time to charge up. The Reaper Scythe, a melee weapon that shoots large projectiles that can actually go through terrain, so that's pretty useful. Reaper's Call, which is a summoning staff that summons in a total of five summons, and they don't take up your regular summon things like this right here. And you you get the shadow beam magic wand which yeah it just shoots a beam and yeah it's a magic wand magic now let's grab ourselves a quest which requires us to get a spirit swab so let's get that and let's jump down into the caves in the last episode we already did a bit of exploring down here and while we were down here i already found a bunch of things for summoning in the reaper which i found basically all over here within this weird little mine shaft kind of thing here yeah i gotta keep my eyes open for a deep cave spirit so that way i can complete the quest there Oh, there's one of those spirits. I already got him. I barely got to see him. It's like on screen for a split second and my summons got to him. Oh, well, quest complete though. Oh, here comes another one right there. All right. I guess all that's really left to do now to prepare for this boss fight is I just need to blow up a lot of stuff and clear it a big enough room and then I'll be back. So I've done a boss fight with this guy and I gotta say it's another easy one. So basically there's not a whole lot to him. If you want you can run around with your flags and just let your minions do it if you're a summoner but that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna do some fighting this time. That is the plan. Make it a little more difficult. But the main thing you gotta look out for is basically he will like come at you and like appear disappear and then kind of sometimes pop out right in front of you kind of. But other than that it's a pretty simple battle. That there is enough talking. Let's Buff up. Let's get our extra summon out and let's summon them in. Let's do this. And I will be focusing on my boomerang. But yeah, this right here, this is what I mean by the teleporting thing he does. He'll kind of do that. And it can be hard to judge where he's going to appear. He does show up on the mini map though. I need to remember the hold the attack button when using these boomerangs. I keep forgetting that and they come right back to me. Now does he show up exactly? Okay, as soon as he appears is when he shows up on the mini map there. So sadly can't really use that to help you out. And we got to deal with little minion things. Oh crap, big scythe. Okay, heal. Now starting off, I do have a thing on. So that way if I take fatal damage, I will heal up. We're almost done. Almost done. He's like three quarters of the way dead. Just gotta walk around and pay attention to where he might appear. Try not to accidentally walk into him. Go for that big scythe. Oh, almost walked right into it. He's picking up speed a little bit. Okay, and I think next time he pops out, we're probably gonna be able to beat him. Oh, there we go. We got him. Now what'd we get? Shadow beam. So that is... This thing right here, that is what that does. Yeah, very simple boss battle, that is for sure. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead, fight him a few more times, and get all of his drops, and I'll show you what it all does. So, I got all the drops now, so starting off, we have the Reaper Scythe here, and basically, it is the melee thing. It shoots off giant scythes, and like I said before, goes through terrain and stuff, so you can... Hit guys through walls and all that. We have the shadow beam thing. So that there is basically like the void stuff. And it just bounces off stuff and has a much longer range. We have the death ripper, the gun. And basically it starts off slow. And as you hold down the button, it gets a lot faster at shooting. So I could see that being really OP for boss battles. It may do low damage. But yeah, really fast shooting speed. And there's a 75% chance to not consume ammo as well. So that there is really useful. And the last Last one, the Reaper's Call. Now, I got this on the second time of fighting him, and I gotta say, I am a huge fan. I literally, all I have to do is walk around the arena like this here, and summon these guys in, and they just home in on the boss and deal damage to him. Now, the nice thing about these guys is, unlike the slime canister, these guys don't die after like 20 seconds, I think it was, so... They kind of stick around and all that. Definitely going to be my go-to weapon now, that is for sure. I'm kind of hoping for the next few bosses, it gets a little bit more difficult because I have noticed for this boss and the previous boss, it's been like really easy. Now, I am still on brutal difficulty, so I might just be getting better at the game, I suppose. That could be the issue. Professional gamer here. But with that right there, that is another boss battle done. And that leaves a total of three more left for us to fight. I almost forgot to show you guys. We got a new mount. A hoverboard. Look at this thing. But anyway, that's it for today. So thank you all so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed it, don't forget to boop that like button, and until next time, keep having fun everyone. See ya!